And once again, thank you so much for tuning in to The Credit Authority. I am your host, Rhonda Kulch, and I am so glad you stayed put. We have several amazing guests, but before we get started, I always want to thank our sponsors. So thank you to Equity First. If you are experiencing credit and or financial challenges, feel free to reach out to any of their trained industry professionals. They can be reached at area code 631 714 48 to two. They are bilingual and nationwide and waiting to speak to you today. And when we speak about credit and financial challenges, hopefully none of them are due to having inappropriate insurance. So therefore, we're bringing on our next guest, Al Stanko with Coal Stan Insurance. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for inviting me to your show. No, you know, I love it. And, you know, we try to bring in a little diversity each week. So insurance, I think, has a multitude of really some sticking points, right? I think people don't necessarily know enough about insurance and how to appropriately identify how much to take and what types of programs are available. So you're you're the expert here. Let's talk about the finances and the financial side of not having the appropriate insurance. <laughs> uh, that's a tough question. Uh, for example, like look at what happened in Florida. People think they have homeowners insurance, and finding out when you have a flood, your homeowners insurance excludes it. A lot of them are scratching their heads. What do you mean I don't have insurance? So in Florida, is very very tricky. So having insurance is very important, and what's very important is having the right coverage. Because some people might have a skeleton policy, meaning they covered for ACV, for example, actual cash value. And then when the loss happens in today's inflation, lumber, you know, a couple months ago was $9 a piece. Now it's down to $5 or four ninety a piece. But what happens when you have inflation? That means prices go up. And when you have an ACV, I hate to say this, but you're not going to be a happy uh, insured when you're getting at 50 cents on a dollar or 10 cents on a dollar, you're going to get screwed. So it's important to have the right coverage at especially when you have a loss. So, you know, just to bring it back. So these are what we'll start with is a homeowner's policy. Yes. So somebody comes to you, they're looking for a homeowner policy. And a lot of people are shopping rate. They're not necessarily always shopping coverage. Right. So when you are speaking to somebody that is looking to get the appropriate homeowner's coverage What questions are you asking them and how are you giving them the options so that they know, you know, so that this way, if they fail to accept something, it's not your failure to offer it. It was failure for them to want to accept it. What we do, what we really do is work on educating our clients. Most of our clients will be aware, will be advised, hey, this is what you need. This is what you should have. Uh, replacement cost is very important. There's some of these insurance companies do not offer replacement costs on their homeowner's policy. We just had one right now that we're working with. Their policy, a national company, offered them a dollar, uh, no, $1,500 to replace their roof. And my son and I looked at each other like, what? $1,500. And we explained it to the uh, prospect, the client. He was like, no, that's not possible. My Alex is very detailed. So he took the, takes the page on that policy and says, read it. Mm-hmm. And that person was like, oh, fill in the blank. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's scary. So we, our goal is to educate our customers. Are we going to win them all? No, absolutely not. If we win them all, we're doing something wrong. So our goal is educate. And the ones that want to learn, understand, it's not about saving that dollar. It's about getting the right coverage and the right protection. It might cost a dollar more today, but down the road, when you have that loss and you have the right coverage, it makes the customer or the client or us feel really good about it. We just had something in Bayshore uh, a couple weeks ago that that a house burned to the ground. Oh. Across the street, there was a transformer. The transformer blew up. The electricity negative current or something like that. I'm not an electrician. So it, it back, the house burned down to the ground. So right now they're in the process of 
rebuilding the house and fortunately we had the right coverage and the customer is going to get that house replaced and rebuilt and you know what it makes us feel good that we did the right thing educated our customer and now at the end of the day probably six months down the road based on permits and all that paperwork to be done in six months they'll be back in the house hopefully and they'll be happy so does the homeowner's coverage also help the families that have been displaced during that period of time. Yes, there's coverage for loss of use that'll give them X amount of money on a monthly basis to find another home or rent a trailer. A lot of times the people rent trailers and put them on a property or they could rent in a house somewhere else and while the house is being built, that is covered on the homeowner's policy. So I guess the idea for that is to make sure that they are not coming out of pocket with a mortgage payment and a rent payment. That's right. Does it give you a certain amount of time that that coverage is good for? Yes, most of the policies up to one year. Loss of use, it's up to one year. So again, now I come to you, I'm looking at getting homeowner's insurance. What other questions are you asking me in reference to my homeowner's policy and in reference to other coverages that I may need so that you can appropriate protect my family? Uh First question they ask, we find out is we, a lot of times we do our homework via Google on the internet. We search everything about the house on the internet. It tells us most of the times we get the square foot. The biggest thing is square feet of the house. And today's inflation, prices are going through the roof. So, you know, a couple of years ago, we'd say $190, $190 a square foot is to rebuild the home. Now in today's world, it's like $190. That's way off. Now we're trying to figure out ourselves, what does it really cost to rebuild the house? So if we do, you know, 290 325 300 that's $325 a square foot that's average and now all of a sudden the house that was insured at you know 200,000 or 500,000 now it's a million dollars so that's what we do we do a lot of our work behind the scenes and then we come up with the solution to the client and we get the client involved in our conversation so that we're there fully educated on what's going on how often do you or your staff review the policies of the clients that you have to make sure that with the changing times that they're appropriately insured. That's a tough challenge for, <laughs> for any insurance agent. I don't care how many people you have working for you. It is tough, especially today. I mean, in the last couple of weeks, homeowners rates are going through the roof. Uh, a lot of these companies, because of inflation, their rates are going higher. It's not the rate per, for the policy. It's the square footage the replacement cost is going up. So the insurance companies are adjusting that so we're getting policies 15 16 percent increase so we're going crazy trying to keep the customer happy sure. uh, ed educate the customer why this is going on and look what happened in florida a couple weeks ago insurance companies are scratching their head and saying oh we need to fix this mistake sure. or fix this so that's why these companies are pulling back uh, a lot of national companies are saying whoa, whoa, whoa we're not writing this anymore we're slowing down so it's very hard for as an insurance agent these days it's very difficult to keep up with the times especially you know when you have all these customers it's hard to do that annual review especially when you get these increases 15 16 percent coming in every I day can, i can see that you know and just for the sake of time we're on our our you know last question right now we're coming up we are on the 10-year anniversary of hurricane sandy what recommendations do you make for somebody so that they never have to be in a catastrophic position that they were 10 years ago? Biggest recommendation is have flood, po flood insurance policies. Uh, you can get policies, you know, they're expensive right now, but you can take a higher deductible. I tell people a lot of times, hey, you have $4,000, $5,000 saved in a bank for major catastrophes. But if you don't have the flood policy or way underinsured, you cannot insure the two or $300,000 that you're going to lose on rebuilding. So my recommendation is take a higher deductible and get some kind of coverage in place to protect you from a hurricane and homeowners, especially with the windstorm deductibles these days. A lot of these companies are doing 5%, are offering 5%. We have companies that are offering two, three, some zero uh, windstorm deductibles. So that'd be a good option and see if it makes sense for everyone. I love it. So once again, we are in studio right now with Al Stanko with Colston Insurance. And if somebody wanted to reach out and have a conversation with you about their insurance, how do they reach you? We can be reached at 266 2800 and don't forget the 631 or on the internet, uh, colstan.com. That's C O L S T A N.com. Be more than happy to respond to any questions that you might have. 
You heard it here. So once again, thank you so much for joining us. And we will be coming up shortly with just our next guest. Stay right there.